jet engine gas turbine part 2. After the successful first run in part 1, I've been experimenting with the engine and attempting to run it up to higher power settings. During one test I closed the gas valve too quickly and the engine stuttered. This gave me quite a shock and the EGT briefly rose up to a thousand degrees before the engine accelerated back up to speed. So let's shut it down and try some modifications. The entire flame tube assembly can be removed by taking out these 8 screws. However, the fit is a bit unnecessarily tight and has probably warped slightly with the heat of running. Eventually, I get it out and you can see that there is no evidence of overheating on the flame tube, so our whole pattern must be working correctly. At this point, however, my only theory for the resonant running was that there was not enough airflow through the combustion chamber and it was flowing back out the compressor side. So I drilled extra holes in each section of the flame tube. Let's give it another run and see if it has improved. Seems to be running cooler at idle speed, about 500 degrees EGT. Turning up the gas it runs smoothly up to around 20 psi and then starts vibrating again and is quite extreme by 25 psi. Having watched other YouTube videos again, such as those from Tech Ingredients, I have decided that my initial hold pattern was probably correct and it was more likely an issue of the fuel supply resonating. I have a long feed hose that could allow some resonance in the incoming gas, as well as the possibility of the gas recondensing into liquid through the throttle valve, splitting liquid propane into the engine. Furthermore, the oil system is not really up to the job, and you can see that the oil pressure is only 20 psi once the oil warms up. This is often less than the chamber pressure, and therefore hot gas was getting back through the turbo oil seals and can be seen coming out of the oil tank. Here are the specs from a program called Jet Specs that can be found online. You simply put in your turbo parameters and it will calculate lots of performance data. Just another note that despite running to nearly 30 psi at times, the thrust from the engine was minimal. The expected thrust was supposed to be 10 kilograms at 32 psi. This is as far as I wanted to develop this engine. This was always going to be a learning experience and a stepping stone to building a much larger and useful engine. One time I tried to start the engine and gave it a bit too much gas and it started explosively from both ends. So with the development of this engine wrapped up, let's have some fun.